What's up, y'all? This is BJ, the Chicago Kid. Are you checking out anonymouslygifted.com? Stay tuned. Peace. to the album to a lot of great features that I can't really speak about just yet. Um, I don't like speaking about some work before it actually gets thoroughly through the process. Sometimes um, you know things can just be hindered by what you say, but it's a lot of amazing things happening. The success of Studio has brought a lot of incredible things, plus other people that kind of understood the talent before Studio, the people that knew me before Studio, so mm -hmm. it's an awesome place to be. Um, it's an awesome time to be me right now, honestly. I'm excited. An awesome time. Um... Though it has been an awesome time, there are still people that do not know who you are. Very much so. They know you as the guy, as the background singer. <laughs> the uncredited guy singing in the background with a nice voice. Yeah. And of course you said um, Schoolboy Q Studio did help that a lot, bring you out. <clears throat> it brought out your uh, talent more than it has. Um, have you ever considered working a collaboration with TDE? The TDE. Mm -hmm. Um, I've done, man, yeah, most of the songs with TDE. I know that, sure. but like an actual like, solid album. Um, meaning like signing with TDE or doing an album with everybody at TDE. Um, doing an album with everybody. Um, that's something they would have to come up with. Yeah. Um, I'm sure them as a as a team, them as a group, they have a, a full itinerary of what's going on. And, I mean, my relationship, when we are like family, but it, you know, I have my itinerary and they have theirs. But when it, when that time comes, I'm sure it's going to happen in an incredible way. I'm sure a lot of fans want to know when that's going to happen as well. You know, I get that question on Twitter a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, not only have you worked with TDE, but you work with numerous other artists mm -hmm. in different genres around. Mm -hmm. um, who are some of the favorite people that you worked with? Um, honestly, man, from Usher, Dr. Dre, they've been two of the best. Uh, Two of the great Snoop Dogg was dope. Uh, who else? Fox, uh, Jill Scott, Anthony Hamilton. Um, when I signed with Motown, I got a call to work with D'Angelo, going tour with D'Angelo, and it was right when I had kind of um, ended that era of what I was doing, and I was kind of like pissed because um, that would have been like um, working with your mentor, well, another yeah. one of my mentors before I kind of closed that shop and just really sailed on my own fully with Motown. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I kind of I think about that a lot, you know. I still never met him, but it's good. They sometimes they say never meet your hero. So, I mean, hey man, it's late still here. Hey, <laughs> like your number one star to go in try and work with? Nah, not necessarily. Um, there's so many people I would love to work with. I love Lil Dragon, I love the Dixie Chicks, I love Scarface, I love, shoot, I mean, there's so many people, man. Um, I waited my whole life for a twist, the verse just got that back, so it's like, mm -hmm. it's it's many levels of people that, you know, I would love to work with, you know, and it's, it's, it's pretty dope. Fly Low, there's a lot of people that I would love to work with. So, You've worked with a lot of people, you've created a lot of songs, you've written for them, you sang for them. Mm -hmm. How do you separate yourself from singing from the background and writing anonymously to coming out to the spotlight? Really, it's uh, life dynamics and music dynamics at the same time. Um, when you sing in background, you have to sing the perfect part, but you got to sing it at the perfect volume level as well because you can't outdo it, you still have to blend. It's kind of the same thing like 
physically. You know what I mean? You gotta understand what your what your part is, play your part. But when it's your time to shine, you shine. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel like I did tonight at SOBs in New York City. Yes, sir. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've been putting out a single. <laughs> you've been putting out a single every week. All right. Does that mean that we're about to get an album? Yeah, you about to get an EP real soon. An EP, not an album. Not an album. The album comes next year. Next year. Yeah, but, every, but as you can see, I have good answers for you, so there is a plan. <laughs> That's the most I can tell you. Okay, I'll take it. An EP. Um, when? But I tell you, I will tell you this: the songs that I have put out, and I never said this, so you actually have something exclusive right here. But those songs that I've put out, none of those songs are on the EP. So those songs with the EP gives you a free album. That's 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 the golden ticket to Willy Wonka's <laughs> chocolate factory. There you go, exclusiveness for you. Um, for those that don't know, you have put out four to five projects, including the Christmas album. Look at you know your homework. Oh, That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Pineapple Now is being the latest. Mm -hmm. It's been two years since you released it. Absolutely. Is it going to be totally different when you do drop the EP and the album? Um, it'll have, um, it'll have, um, certain areas of, you know, familiarity from Pineapple, but it's definitely growth. Um, I've always been a fan of artists and producers or just um, people in the music game that always uh, excelled every every time they brought you something new, something was different, something. I mean, I come from when a guy did a new album, he changed his hair, he changed his wardrobe. Uh, he, every you, you just knew something was different by just seeing that person. So I'm, I'm getting more back into that era of what I grew up in and just understand and let people know what, what we were actually giving them, you know what I'm saying? For the for those that are creative enough to do that and, 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 and people understand it. That's what I'm with. Mm -hmm. Now, I normally don't like to throw the term around real R&B, real soul, but I feel like you are like the pilgrimage of real R&B and real soul. How do you that. feel about the state of music as it is today? Um, I feel like we need what's out, but I think I just think we need a balance of it. Um, honestly, I still go to the club. I still have a good time, you know what I'm saying, I still have a drink every now and then, I still, you know, I still go out, so why not have a tie dollar sign, why not have this, but you gotta have a balance, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm here, I'm here for the balance, um, I think, um, it's just, it just need more of the balance, I don't say, I don't think we need less of that, we just need more of what we do, we need more people that really understand and do what we do to stand up and do what we do, that's it, it's not, a, it's not really a hard thing, but I'm just one person speaking from my observation, but, um, I'm gonna do my part, you know what I'm saying, and I still got, you know, records with Ty, so it's, it's the same thing, you know? Yeah, records with Ty? Yeah. When can we hear that? Mm. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm, I'm, on, um, I'm on sign language. I'm on an interlude in called um, Lord Knows. Get, for, get from oh, here. Aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I missed that completely. Yeah. Shame on Lord me. Lord Knows. <laughs> All this money. Mm -hmm. That's me. I learned something new tonight. Me and Ty, cre I created Pineapple Now Laters and Ty created um, Beach House in the same studio. Like the studio, the front of the studio was this size. Imagine this cut in half behind this. When I was in the front, he was in the back. When I was in the back, he was in the front. Like uh, the studio was two different rooms that, and, and we recorded those two projects at the same time in that same back house studio with my man Kors. Shout out to Kors, man. Kors is a genius. He, he int He's introduced a lot of incredible um, artists, producers. He's brought a lot of good people together. And you don't find a lot of good people like that. So he's introduced me to people that even just like for the first time. Like um, I didn't know THC, which produced um, cartoons and cereal for Kendrick Lamar. I didn't know them prior um, Dream 2. They produced Dream 2 for me. Kors introduced them to me, but that's prior me writing to the song. I met them after I recorded the song and everything. So Cord is just a he he's a he's a he's a huge 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 inspiration to the whole underground LA scene and a lot of guys that know about him like he's a genius and he introduced my, myself Ty, um, um, uh, just a lot of guys. I'm, I was supposed to be on Iggy project. Her first project was recorded at that same spot. So it's just crazy how a lot of these guys. Um, you get a call about somebody you never heard, but that person could be the person you hear about for the next four years. So you just got to be ready at all times, but you know, good guys stay around, good guys and they introduce you to good people. Yeah. Good situations. Um, I don't think there's any song that you've ever made that I dislike. I love all your songs, I'll admit it, love them all. I could dig that. 
how, where do you get your inspiration from? I get inspiration from life. You could tell me a story and a little piece of that might inspire a whole nother song. Um, it could be a phrase, it could be a one word, it could be a situation, it, it's just crazy. I love cartoons, man. I love Tom and Jerry. I get a lot of inspiration from Tom and Jerry cartoons. Um, from women, stories in the barbershop. You ever walk past somebody and they said one phrase and that phrase keeps flipping in your mind and you dissecting words. And me being a songwriter for so long, my I can't stop my brain from working. If I fall asleep with the TV on, something's gonna wake me up. That's how I first heard about Gautier. Mm. I was asleep like four in the morning, heard the song on VH1 at like four in the morning and I literally woke up, finished watching the video. <laughs> and couldn't go back to sleep. I had to research them right away. So um, it's kind of a good thing that I can't turn it off and it's a bad thing at the same time, but this is what I do for a living. It's my life, so I prefer to keep the keep the switch on, you know? Why not? Okay, is there any last words? Um, stay tuned for the resume, man. That's, that's the name of the EP. Um, it's something different. I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me, so if, if you've been rocking with me thus far, man, keep your ears open and I want to hear what y'all think, man. So. I'm always on, on, on Twitter when I can to see what y'all thinking about the music that we're releasing. So stay tuned to BJTCK.com, BJ the Chicago Kid on Twitter and Instagram, man. I'm out.